All right, so thank you for hanging out with me today. It's really a pleasure to chat. You're uh, like three weeks out from the Australian tour. How's it feel to actually have a tour happening overseas? I, indescribable. Um, just so excited. We just appreciate it more because of. All right, so this thank you for hanging out with me today. It's really a uh, pleasure to chat. You're, uh, it was amazing like to be in the three States weeks out from the well, Australian tour. How's it feel States. to actually have a tour and, happening um, overseas? The first band that a lot of people had seen. Yeah. It's, it's indescribable. Uh, um, so it's not quite just so excited, but it's appreciating. You're just more really grateful of, for uh, just what we've gone through. Things you used to take for granted. It really yeah. is incredible. Sure. It's it amazing to be in the States. By the way, congratulations on the latest album, Motorheart. It's, Motor Heart. In the um, and, um, it's still the, the darkest first band that best, but I know that you guys yeah. have to do Since this one the, remotely. So besides uh, so it's location not quite on being level, an issue, but it's still, was there something different about this album compared to previous albums? Things you used to take for granted, didn't it? The sure. albums are all and different from each other. By the way, other. congratulations on the last album, Motorheart. This one um, has peaks and It's still and the darkest at its best, but it's I know that you guys uh, heavy had to do this one places. remotely. There was a so lot besides of, uh, location on drums being an issue, one. was there something different like, about this uh, album the, the compared to previous albums? The great live and the ones where the albums the are all different from each other. Like Glasgow and this one Motorheart, the title has track. peaks and troughs. We'll definitely be playing those. It's definitely uh, heavy in a lot in of Australia, New Zealand. There was a lot of uh, focus okay, on Okay, cool. So I know that Glasgow is one. there being your opening and track stuff followed like, by uh, a black the, shark, the track which was really generally your, always your opening track on previous tours. Really so there, I gather that's a pretty Glasky, big one-two punch to open the show. Motorheart, the title track. Yeah, we'll, we'll you know, be playing those. Up, though, you know, we've been in Australia, New Zealand. In the festivals all summer. Okay, cool. So I know that Glasgow is there being the opening it. track followed sure. by a black now, shark, which go was into generally an album always for every band that's going to always be tours, so I gather that's a pretty big one to punch in to open the show. Who's the peacemaker and who's yeah, the troublemaker? Well, you know, it might freshen up, though. You know, that's a good question. I like that. Been the festivals all summer. We might give Australians something a bit different. We'll see, you know. Sure. Well, now, when you guys enough, go into create an band, album for every band that's going to always be creating tension, creating differences in the studio, like the, who's the peacemaker like and who's the troublemaker? Uh, me pissing off one of the brothers. That's a good question. I like that. And then maybe the other brother um, calming things down. Or Rue's very, Rue's got very well, bad temper. Funny enough, even he gets angry with other people. He just gets angry with himself or with people that's in there. Kind of a rivalry. But he does this. It's more likely, like, he never calls. It's more likely he's really going to be uh, angry me, me. Pissing off one of the or brothers. He probably has been. Maybe the other brother. Away. So uh, he's very uh, calming things down. Or Rue's very, Rue's got a very balanced temperament. He gets so, angry, um, but he doesn't get angry with course, himself. He just gets angry with himself, with himself or the people that are there. There's all but kinds of uh, history there. I can never recall when he's really always has to be angry with me uh, ourselves. He probably has been, but he's probably just walked each away. Other. So he's very, That's um, the most important thing is to be able to laugh at yourself. Easy to be around. You don't have self-awareness. So, um, um, of course, myself and my brother have been around last long. It's probably the most important kinds of fan history there is that the members have some kind of self awareness. Laughing, yeah, sure. Ourselves, um, Rufus has now been each other. in the band since the most important thing is still to laugh at yourself. Um, if you don't so, have self-awareness. Besides the fact that he comes from a, a huge pedigree, we don't need to discuss on his long. father. It's probably the most but what does he bring to the band? Not only as a member, but as kind of self awareness. Yeah, sure. Um, exactly. That's Rufus the thing. has now been the in the band since I think around 2015. Um, coming, but really, uh, so, besides the fact that he comes from a, a huge pedigree, uh, we don't need to discuss really what his very, father. Um, but what does he bring to the band? Day. That's not the only as a drummer, extreme, but as he's very great when it comes to the important stuff. Exactly. Because that's the thing. The people don't focus on the human aspects. It's just those two things. But really, so that means you can relate to all of us. See, they can be childish. Like really just been very, um, he's very grown up. That's the thing he's in. Like streams, he's very grown off the wall with me sometimes. Warm stuff. He's also I, incredibly I charming as well. Him on so the late nights, just those two things. Little ventures and that. Um, and uh, so that means you can relate to all of us. Sometimes he can yep. be childish. He's just, he just Justin gets on with all, um, all of us um, in and different ways, be, um, but equally well. reflective. So maybe off the wall with me sometimes. Sometimes are great people skills. I come to. Um, awesome. Um, now, I know that you're a dedicated Thunderbird player. You know? Every time and, uh, I've seen The Darkness live, you play Thunderbird. Sometimes. Have you ever just, strayed off the path live or in the studio? Us, um, in different ways. But equally yeah, well. Was, 
so a couple of times where I had that. I suppose you could say his great defender, skills. precision. Awesome. And now, I know that you're a dedicated no, Thunderbird player. What was player. one's called? Kind of based on precision. The darkness live, you play Thunderbirds. Um, have you Sounds ever like strayed off the path <laughs> live or in the studio? See, that's the thing. I'm not like a tech head. I can't remember yep. the name. Yeah, of it. there was but a couple of times where, where I would that. do that. A couple Fender, of tracks. Precision. Oh, I've got a feeling that maybe... Um, no, every what was one's called that are kind of based on precision? So. On a... Uh, um, Sounds like Lackey or variation of a precision. <laughs> See, that's the thing. I'm not uh, like a tech head. I can't remember yeah, the name. It's like different sounds of the car. There was a couple where I would do that. Uh, but you no, know, generally speaking, I'm, I'm yeah, just sticking with them. And maybe, like, um, so we've got two different sounds of you. We've got a new one, which is the uh, 50th anniversary. Yep. Some variation of a new energy. And then I've got uh, <clears throat> an old 90s one. Well, that's got slightly and different sounds of really different from each other. The old 90s one is really nice. Age. Uh, but and it's no, not like an old speaking, I'm, so I'm just sticking with them. And so I've got two different sounding ones. I've got... A new one, variety, which is the fiftieth anniversary. Okay, yep. and when it comes to live, Relative does it just have the anyway. attack that and suits the sound for the darkness? An old nineties one, actually, you as a player. They both sound really different from each other. The old nineties one, the wood now is aged, and it's got like an old beat. Well, I'm really starting to get the best. So of between the two of them, I've got now enough variety. I've got a new tech, and he's an actual bass okay, player. And when it comes to live, so does it just have the attack that suits really the sound for the uh, darkness, or more? Actually, he's, he's, called. He, he's really helping me get, get a good sound out, out of the high wall. Although I think in Australia, I'll be using Ampeg. Well, I'm really starting to get the best out of the high wall. Mm -hmm. And I've also I've been using Pedal as well. new take, take, and he's and an actual bass player. So I still love the uh, really helping me uh, make way that he's called. He, and then I've really also got the game with the sound out of the high wall. Although I think in Australia, I'll be using Ampeg. So he'll be able to get a good sound out of that too. Okay, cool. And I've also yeah, been the using Darkness as a band, new they're not just great live, and but they create a vibe in I've the got, show. I still love um, the uh, Torn Hammer. No one walks I've away from a and Darkness show thinking they didn't have a party. But how would you describe the Darkness pedal, live which, uh, show to a Darkness version? Okay, cool. Now, the Darkness as a band, they're not just great live, but they create a vibe in the show. If there was um, one word, I would probably say. No one walks away. From a darkness show, thinking they didn't have a party. The one word that makes us. But how would you describe the darkness and the humor show and everything? I would say that version. one word would probably sum up what makes us distinctive. Absolutely. And when you guys put a show together, what are the important aspects one word, of you for you as a band, but also you. for yourself as a player? Yeah. The one word that makes us different. Sorry, what was the first of the question? And the yeah, humor and what, everything. What are the important aspects for you as a player and a uh, band when you put together a show? Absolutely. And when you guys put a show together, what are the important aspects of you for you, know, you the as most a band, aspects, but also for yourself we, as a player? In, that we feel good. That Sorry, what was the first bit of the question? Yeah, what, kind of what relaxed, are the important aspects but also for you as a player and a band when you put together a show? And feel good in ourselves. And there's no bad energy. That literally is the most important thing. Without wanting to sound too much, you like know, the most hippie. important aspect is really is that there's no residual in negative energy. energy. We feel good, and we feel no, light and uh, yeah. and heavy. That's the kind most important relaxed. thing. So we do whatever it takes. Also, a little nap, tuned in, and attentive, and a coffee, and yeah. feeling good in ourselves. Also, again, and there's no bad energy. And that literally is the most important thing. Just focus, Without really. Wanting to sound too much like you're not talking about the technical aspects. Of there's course, no residual negative energy. Really light and, guy. and we feel light. And we have our sound guy heavy. Such a lot of things. So we do whatever it takes. So we let's nap before the game. Chill it up. Then a coffee. It's really yeah. um, up again. Just every and tour, he just goes up a, a just level. focus, really. And brings out. If you're not talking about the technical aspects, of course, yeah. there's obviously different aspects Great like sound. Right. You know, so, and we have our sound sure. guy we've had for now, such a long time. Being on the road, really just health, gets better and better. sanity, all of it and is important. Though. So, what do you do to keep really, yourself sane um, and healthy on the road? Just every tour, he just goes up a, sleep, a sleep level and, and brings out different quality of sleep. It doesn't have yep. to be a lot. Different aspects to our sound, you know. So to keep yourself sane, sure. having yeah. a laugh, taking Being on the road, each other. health, sanity, all and of it is important. Of it so, what well. do you do to keep yourself sane Personally, and I'll, healthy I'll, on the road? Whenever I can, I get swimming. And, Sleep's uh, really important, even if it's uh, Adelaide, where people are telling Probably me there's shark packs, and that's yep. still out there. Swimming so, and the water was just crystal clean, clear. Having a laugh, um, taking the I've never seen so such crystal clear water as uh, when I swim. And then getting out a bit as well. I'm looking forward to that this time as well. Whenever I can, I get Perfect. swimming. Now, 
And the band has really dedicated uh, fans uh, worldwide, but in Australia, they just, the I know, they're just mental. All the shows I've been at have just been in off the wall. wall. Was just crystal um, clear. What are your um, I've never seen great such memories besides clear water as, uh, swimming in shark infested waters? I'm looking forward to that this time as well. Perfect. Now, the so band has really memories. dedicated fans worldwide, but in Australia, they just, I don't know, they're mental. All the shows I've been at have just been off the wall. Um, what are your great uh, memories sure besides right swimming yep. in shark infested uh, waters of Australia? I'm sure it's going to bounce back. It can't carry on like this, all this health and safety. You can't do that with people. So many so, great memories. Just I'm people in Australia. It's a tradition that the kind of people who break the rules. All the stuff going on with health and safety is such a fun time. I'm sure you are too. I just like being on those packed bars. I'm sure it's going to bounce back. It can't carry on like this, all this health and safety. You can't do that with people. Just so meet some, uh, I just love Australians, you know, because traditionally that people are kind of people who break the rules. Perfect, man. What are you um, listening to at the moment? You know, I have a good time. And I just like being on those packed bars. Listen, quite a lot to Eddie and Maura yeah, Cullen at the moment. Being a few because there's that transition the from and summer to autumn. Just meet yep. some, uh, so it's like a little bit melancholic. But it's that sweet man time man. thing that you get in Perfect, the uh, What are you listening to at the moment? Ennio Morricone, the Italian composer. Who died a few years ago? This is quite what the idea of Murray Cullen at the moment has been a classic. Because it's that transition not from the soundtrack. Summer to Autumn. Yep. One of the so great, um, like a little bit melancholic, 20th century, a little bit thing that you get in the uh, classical film music of Ennio Morricone, the Italian Peter Miles Davis as well. I keep my ears fresh for the music. I want to be like on Dan Lee. That has been a classical place to hear music from the soundtrack. That's absolutely one of the great. Yeah, we're going to finish up. For the day. 20th century yeah. and a little bit yeah, 21st yeah. century. Okay, so closers. you are yeah. literally, uh, literally three Peter weeks away well. from your first show. I keep my ears fresh to rock music. I want to be um, like... I what are your final I've words for up. all of your friends in Australia? place to hear rock music pumping away at a bar. That's how I like to find all words. <laughs> yep, great. Now, we're going to finish um, up for the day. Yeah. Yep, yeah, yeah. Well... Okay, so... I you can't are literally, I literally three weeks away from your first um, show. Maybe there's about three, three today. venues with still um, a few left. What are your so, final uh, words for all of your friends in Australia? Check it out, you know, and see if uh, <laughs> your one words. is the one that's sold out. I think there's a second date in Melbourne. There might be some left for the second well, date in Melbourne. I can't believe how well the uh, sales are done. And just the, and where maybe there's about just three more venues with still a few know, left. So, to, uh, just check it out and see if... If you one is the one that's still sold out. Higher, you know? I think it's a second date in Melbourne. There might be some I'll less. See you the the sold out out yep, go ahead. One thing, watch out uh, for and just the, the Taylor Hawkins. Just in more time next year, you know. We're about to uh, be there in, in the second leg for all two. And what's our tribute? I'm flying off to LA on Saturday. Spirits are going higher, you know. Wonderful. Excellent we saw Frankie. the uh, London scene and and sold out. It was just ahead. amazing. And one thing, watch out for. Uh, I, I love Justin that interplay Drew with um, and Justin Hawkins and Brian Johnson, regardless of what Tuesday. people think. They're both right. going to be there. I know exactly. It was in um, the second leg, round two. It was just, of, it it was one of these things. Only one leg. We got any of these four spots. Wonderful. We saw the London one and. It was just you got to do what says in a big arena like that. I, I love that interplay exactly. with um, and he brought it. He, he slammed it. Ben Halen stuff slammed it. I know exactly. It was, um, it was incredible. I was it so was proud. One of these things. It was only one night. I get to see him because he was actually watching. Could be twice in my whole life. I've actually seen him and I've been on stage with him. You got to do what Dave says in a big arena like that. Incredible to see him in all his glories. And he brought it. He slammed the Van Halen stuff. Slammed it. This guy is unique. There's no one like Dave. It's yes. incredible. I was so proud of them. All I know is that if they ever do an Eddie tribute show, he should do Actually the watch him. Maybe twice. No, no offense right, to David Lee Roth, he should be the one doing it. With him, so I guess, um, all right, man. I will see you in Brisbane. It's all sold out, but I will be there. The one thing that I thought was like, hey, this, this guy is completely unique. <laughs> Thanks, Frankie. Right. See you, man. Yeah. Bye. Bye. All I know is that if they ever do an Eddie tribute show, he should do the vocals. No no offense to David Lee Roth, he should be the one doing it. I agree. All right, man, I will see you in Brisbane. It's sold out, but I will be there. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Frankie. See you, man. Bye. Bye.